Hi, my name is Bakhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about so-called quotient rule of differentiation. In our previous video lectures, we discussed how to find the derivative of the product of the two functions. And it's going to be expanded using the following formula. It helped us to figure out, for example, what would be the derivative of the x plus 3 in the square or in the cube times the x plus 5 in the power of 5, or the multiplication of an exponential function into the polynomial or the multiplication of an exponential function into the trigonometric function. Well, let's say now we are given the division of the two polynomials, so the quotient, uh, the ratio of the two polynomials, like this, or the ratio of an exponential function into a polynomial, 1 pl plus x in a square, or the sort of the functions, where we are given two functions again, but they are not multiplied, they are divided. So how to find the derivatives of this kind of functions? And it appears in general case, if you are given the quotient of the two functions, so the f of x divided to the g of x, then the derivative of this ratio is going to be equal to the derivative of the first function on the numerator times the z function on the denominator. So it's, it's really important. So for the product rule, it was really uh, n no matter in which order we are taking the derivatives. Uh, for the quotient rule, it is superbly important that we are going to take the derivative, first of all, from the function which is on the numerator. So minus f of x times the g prime of x divided to the g in the square of x. So that's going to be called as a quotient rule. At the same time, we can uh, uh, we can write down this rule without all of this excess. So the derivative of the f over g is going to be f prime g minus f g prime divided to the g in the square. So probably memorize this formula using this uh, so using the second line is very much easier. Uh, let's do a couple of examples. So we are going to do two examples. We are going to find the derivative of this function. Then we're going to find the derivative of this function. Let's start with the first example where we are given the quotient of the two polynomials, which are essentially x squared plus x minus t divided to the x cubed plus 6. So I'm going to denote this function on the numerator as the f, and I'm going to denote this function on the denominator as the g. And again, I'm going to use this formula, so which is going to be f prime g minus f g prime divided to the g in the square. So fortunately for us, we can we know what is what are the derivatives of the polynomials. So essentially, the derivative of the f is going to be simply 2x plus 1 times the g, which is going to be x cubed plus 6. So then minus f, which is going to be simply x squared plus x minus t times the derivative of the second function, which is going to be 3x in the square, divided to x cubed plus 6 in the square. So what we can do is we can simplify the terms by opening all the brackets, or we can just leave the things like here, because our goal was to show how to take the derivative of the quotient of the two functions. But let's try to simplify this. So it's going to be the multiplication of this term to, to both of these terms. It's going to be 3x in the power of, uh, 2x in the power of 4 plus 12x. Now we're going to multiply this one to both of these terms. It's going to be equal to plus x cubed plus 6. So now we're going to multiply the first term to, to oh, so essentially 3x in the square is going to be multiplied to all the terms. It's going to be minus 3x in the power of 4, minus 3x in the power of 3, plus, um, plus 6x in the square. So what we can do is we can probably simplify some of the terms so it's going to be x cubed plus 6 in the square. So x in the power of 4 and x in the power of 4. So we have got 2x in the power of 4. And the sum is going to be minus x in the power of 4. So we've got again 2x in the power of cubes. So the sum is going to be equal to the minus 2x in the power of cube. So if we've got just 1x in the square. It's going to be plus 6 in the square. And we've got just 1x, so plus 12x, plus 6. 
So this is all divided to the x cubed plus 6 in the square. So this is how we can take the derivative of a quotient of the two functions. So let's try to take the derivative of the second function. So the second example. So it was the quotient of the e in the power of x divided to the 1 plus x in the square. And again, we're going to denote this function on the numerator as the f. The function on the denominator is going to be denoted as the g. Then the derivative of this function as the ratio is going to be f prime g minus fg prime divided to the g in the square. And again, I would like to put your attention, make your attention that first of all, I'm taking the derivative of a function which is on the numerator, not on the denominator. So let's try to find this. So the derivative of the f is going to be simply e to the power of x times the 1 plus x in the square minus the first function e to the power of x times the derivative of the second one. The derivative of this function is going to be simply 2x. So this is all divided to the 1 plus x in the square in the square because the what we need to do is we need to divide all of the things into the g in the square. So we can take out the e in the power of x from the brackets here and here and what is left is going to be simply x in the square minus 2x plus 1 divided to the x in the square plus 1 in the square. So please note that x in the square plus minus 2x plus 1 can be simply written as the x minus 1 in the square. So this is multiplied to the e in the power of x. And this is all divided to the x squared plus 1 in the square. So this is how we can take the derivative of a function which consists of the division of the two other functions. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this video was helpful for you.